friends, I hope you're having a great day. This week, you're only going to get one video from me because I worked an extra day this week. So I hope you're excited and let's get started. I first wanted to show you a couple products that I just got. Um, the first one is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm pretty sure I've talked about his Velour Lip Scrubs before because we have like, I think it's the Strawberry Bubble Gum or something like that. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. They're vegan. You can eat them. You really shouldn't, but it's just to, you know, help get that dead skin off your lips especially to apply lip products, especially if you're applying dry lip products like a liquid lip. Um, but this one is in Blue Freeze, and the twins opened it upside down. But if you like a lip scrub, these are phenomenal. Like, I don't think there's going to be a flavor. When people say flavor, it makes me think that you really are going to eat it or scent or whatever. But, yeah, you, the twins love to use this, and so does Mason. They come in, and they just get, um, just put their finger in there, get a little bit, lean over the sink, slough that dead skin off, and then they just, they just lick it off. It's amazing. It smells so good. Makes you want to have a slushy. Almost that time. Almost slushy time. Um, the other product, as you guys know, that I got a couple things from ColourPop. And for those of you that know me, you already know I have four kids. I have Mason, who's 15. I have Marley, who is nine. And then we have twins, Maisie and Maverick, that are four. So Marley, we call Marmar. -Mar. And when I saw that they had a little eyeshadow palette named Mar, well, I didn't even need to look at the colors. I was just like, put it in the cart. And um, ColourPop is very inexpensive. It's online only. Um... So far, everything that I've gotten there, I have loved. Anyways, this is the packaging, and the names of the shadows are on the back. So I'm going to use this one either in my next video. I have a really fun idea for one video, so I don't know if I can do it this one or the next one. So within the next two videos, you're going to get a get an eye look with this. But look how pretty those are. Oh, sorry. Let me not have that. Isn't this beautiful? Like this blue is speaking to me, and this bright blue, and then, oh, just very, very beautiful colors. Some of the colors on the back are like El Rey, Wild One, Detour, Boozy, Gridlock, Sorbet, Highway, Top Down, and My Way. Anyways, I'm very excited. So I just want to share those with you. Um, today, I'm going to actually use, use a blush palette to apply my eyes. So I'm going to do like a peachy look. So it's getting like really dark. So if the lights in here are like, ooh, bright, ooh, dark, ooh, bright, ooh, dark, it's our weather can't decide what it's going to do. It's like been like 80 and sunny and like hot. We had to turn the air on yesterday. And now the wind is blowing so bad because it's bringing in a storm. It's supposed to be like 40. <laughs> I don't know. Hello, welcome to Kansas City. If you would like to experience all four seasons in one day, come to Kansas City. Kansas City is amazing, by the way. Um, just the weather's so crazy. Yesterday, the basketball goal blew over on our SUV because it was so windy. I'm going to pin this hair back. I just got a shower. I just left the gym. Yesterday, I skipped the gym, but I still got about a three-mile walk-in with um, Marley and Mason. Mason went with me, which was super nice because Marley was running ahead of us. She had some energy she needed to work off. It wasn't such a, such a great day. And so I just got to listen to Mason talk. And if you guys have a teenager, you know, like, if they talk, you just let them talk. Like, they've got stuff to say. They've got words in that brain, and they need to get it out. So I just listened to him, and I really enjoyed it. I have not tried this yet. I know I shared it with you last time, so I'm going to try it today. This is the Elf Prep and Hydrate Balm. So, really, what do you do with it? I don't know. It is getting so dark. I know I've got this light, but, like, it's getting eerie dark in here. Dogs are all asleep all around me. Oh, I have this on the map. I have my mirror in front of me, and I have it on the magnifying set. I'm like, whoa. Hello, Shelly. Let me see right into your pores. Okay. It feels like almost like wet when you put it on. I'm just going to do this little area here. I don't know what's going on down here. Yeah, it feels wet. I'm just going to kind of rub that in. This feels very slippery, and I feel like I'm going to need to take this wet beauty sponge and kind of tap that in because it feels a little slippery, and I don't want my foundation just to slip slide right off. I'm just going to tap this in. Okay. I am going to use my True Match Lumi. I'm going to mix shade N3 neutral and N4 neutral. I'm just going to put them on the back of my hands. I've been trying out lip colors. It's like, what do I kind of lip color do at once? So I'm just going to put those on the back of my hand. I'm going to use my Wet Beauty Sponge from Morphe. I'm going to blend that all in. And so you guys don't get bored, I'm going to do it off camera. 
Okay, I'm just finishing um, tapping this into my skin. I did have to get an extra pump for some reason. My skin looks a little uneven today in tone, so it's probably because I've actually tried to been out. I've been outside quite a bit lately just because it was so nice out. So my skin's like, what are we doing? In the sun or not in the sun? So I'm just tapping that in. And then I'm going to take my contour stick, which is by the LA Colors one, and I'm just going to put a little definition here. I will probably have my bangs down, so I'm not really going to contour a whole lot up around there. Give me a jawline. Just a little under my lip to make your lip look a little extra pouty. Without putting injections. Not against injections. I've had Botox for, um, gosh, almost three years for my migraines. And they say that and they're like, oh, it's not really like cosmetic, you know, because they put it into a different muscle, not a different muscle, but like depth wise um, to help kind of like freeze it. But to be honest, I haven't had it done in like six months. I go oh, actually next week, I think. So I might look like a little Klingon next week because <laughs> it'll leave spots. I get it just right on my forehead because my migraines like start right here and I actually get on the back of my neck. So I'll have like the least wrinkled back of my neck ever, you know, because that's a high spot to want to have Botox. So I do think it does help a little bit with wrinkles. So it's kind of a two for one. Doesn't make my migraines go away, but it does really, really, I'm not kidding. It really does help them. I don't get that orbital spin like I used to. Here we get a little bit of definition there. So I do think it helps. And insurance pays for it, so even better, <laughs> excuse me. Okay, I'm going to take this e.l.f. 16-hour cami concealer. Concealer? 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 Concealer. Okay, whatever. Last week I couldn't talk. It's just a factor. I just can't talk. This one's medium sand. This one I think was just a little bit light, but I'm going to go ahead and pop this on here and here. Right down the bridge of my nose. And since I don't have a zit on the end of my nose this week, I'm going to put it just right on the tip of my nose. Right here and the base of my chin. And I'm going to blend that in with a tiny little beauty blender. This one is not a beauty blender. It's the knockoff. It's probably real techniques. I'm not really sure. I'm going to go ahead and just pat that in. Same on the chin. Just bring this light back into your face. Speaking of light, be the light to somebody today. Say something sweet. Send them a gift card. Put a, put a card in the mail. You know, people don't do cards anymore. And every once in a while, I get a card from somebody that lives in California. And it's just so kind because it just shows up out of nowhere. And it just, you know, doesn't have to have money in it. doesn't have to have a gift card in it. Well, unless you're like one of my kids and then they're like, where's the money? <laughs> it's because we've trained them that way, y'all. It's like we've like, oh, you, this is what you have to have. You have to have, put money in it, which that's sweet too. They don't care. They don't even care if it's a dollar. They don't understand. I mean, Mason, he's just like, where's the 20? But. Okay, I'm going to go over my eyelids with this as well to kind of cancel out that the veins and any discoloration. I'm going to pat that in. And then I'm going to go over this with the big beauty blender. If you can't tell, it just needs to be blended in a little bit more. And I can do it just a little bit more effectively with this. Now I'm going to drag this up. But yes, put, just be somebody's light today. Just send them a text message. Just say, I love you, or I appreciate you, or you just never know who's struggling today. And if somebody's on your heart, give them a call, send them a card, send them a text, send them a gift card, take them a meal, do something special for somebody today. I am totally with, I really, let's just say we probably all are. We're all probably like, let me give instead of get. It's just one of those things that just makes you uncomfortable when somebody's giving you something. Um, but if somebody gives you something, just receive it with love because that's because they're thinking of you and um, just being kind and just receive it and say thank you. Not you didn't have to do that or why, you know, don't worry about it. Mm -mm, just say thank you. Okay, I'm going to set this with my hourglass. Um powder. I must have concealer. 
And I'm going to set this around my nose because later I'll be wearing sunglasses. I mean, right now the sun's out. In two seconds it's going to be dark. I don't even know if you guys can hear that wind, but it is nuts. And I'm just going to tap over my, my lid so it'll set. Okay, kids. Ooh, did you guys get that little powder dust? It's like magic. We're on to the shadow. Okay, I'm going to fix my brows. And someday, if you want me to, I will go over a brow tutorial, like how to do your brows. Um, I have okay brows. They're not fantastic, but they're not pencil thin and they're not gone. So I just deal with them in this, you know, it's kind of a less is more kind of thing. This kind of just darkens them. I can take this out and just make the tail a little bit longer. So it works for me. Oh, I have the radio on the back. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's nothing but commercials. Snore. If commercials come on the TV, the kids seriously lose it. They're like, Mom, commercials. I'm like, the TV show will cut back on. Give it a second. <laughs> Heaven forbid you lived when, when we were and you just watched them. Or you had to record it and fast forward it on your VHS. Okay, today we're going to do a little peachy eye look. So I am taking um, this palette, which you guys know that I got on Amazon. It doesn't have anything on it except for 01H10. If you want to Google that and try to find on Amazon, great. Otherwise, just find you a um, blush palette. I don't know if I said eyeshadow, but I meant blush. I don't know. Hopefully, you just know me and you're like, you know, whatever. I know what she meant. Let me get all this out of the way. And I'm going to go in with this lightest peach shade up here. And I'm just going to blend that all over my lid. Let me scoot up just a little bit so you guys can see me. Tap it off. And this is going to go all over. So what do you guys have going on this weekend? Comment below what you're doing this weekend. Jamie is off. Um, my husband is a deputy chief of a police department, a small police department, and so he works like every other weekend, so he's off this weekend, so we have a wedding to go to, and then on Sunday, we'll sing at church, we sing on the worship team, and um, maybe twice a month we sing, we love that, we absolutely love, love, love to do worship, that's like, it's like our thing, you know, like everybody has their calling, what to do, and we work with youth for a little bit. Um, but yeah, we sing and so we'll go to church and then Marley gets to go to like that, you know, that what's like sipping, sipping paint or sipping wine or what, I don't know what it is. You paint and you get to drink. Well, Marley gets to go one of those without the drinking. <laughs> they actually have made some of them where you can go and you bring your kids. And so she has a personal assistant that's going to take her. She has no idea because if we told her, she would continue to ask a hundred times a day until it was time. So we have to save those things for her, but um, we got some tickets for her and her PA to go, and I think she's going to love it. She loves, like, to draw and art and that kind of stuff. She could seriously sit for eight hours and color or draw. Is that good for her? Absolutely not. But she does like it, and I do know that after her going to play therapy, that is very um, good for kind of, like, telling what she's feeling, you know, on paper. So I love that. Okay, guys, so I've got this light peachy color all over my lid. I even put it even on my lid. Now I'm going to go to the next darkest shade, which let me show you which one that is. It's right here. Let me just show you what I'm going to do. Okay, I went with this color. I'm going to go with this color, and then it's going to go between these two. Okay, I'm going to mix this at the very end. Those are the colors I'm going to use. Just use an eyeshadow palette. How cool is that? I forget which one I used. Oh, there it is. So I'm just going to deepen up the crease with this one. Sorry, I don't know if my mirror is in your way. The dogs are in here just snoozing away. They're just happy as can be. It's been so nice out that we've just been leaving them outside. So when they come in, they're pooped. I keep looking down. I'm like, which, which color am I using? So tell me what you're doing this weekend in the comments below. Tell me if there's something specific you would like to see. Anything that I've taught you so far. I hope I've taught you something. I hope I'm not just putting on makeup and recording it and editing it and laying all this stuff out for nothing. I know I'm not. I know I'm not. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna take a different brush, just a little bit more, and that's a little bit more tapered, and I'm gonna dip in those two different shades, and I'm going to place those all over the lid. Just packing them on those so lightly. This brush is so soft that you can just lightly fluff that product, and it just blends in like a dream. Okay. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of these colors, y'all. Don't be scared of these peachy colors to put on your eyelids. Just try it. It's makeup. There's no rules to makeup. I think I told this to my friend Bambi the other day. She was like, you know, which brush is this? Well, there's no rules in makeup. You, can, I could put my lipstick on with this brush if I wanted to. I could contour with it. I could put my highlight. There's no rules. And worse comes to worse, you put it on, you hate it, wash it off. Um, Something that I learned, I think, from Jaclyn Hill years ago about when I was really struggling with, like, putting lashes on or doing, like, a wing liner was I would do it at night, like, before I was going to wash my face because if it looked awful, I was just washing my face and going to bed. So, you could put lashes on, wear them for an hour or whatever and just take them off and be like, okay, well, I got this because lashes are hard. You know, sometimes you put them on and they're poking you in the eye and you're not living your best life. So that's really why I use, they just use the outside ones. <laughs> I did last extensions forever and I love them. Okay, I am just brush, I'm just wiping this off on um, this cloth that I have in my lap and I'm gonna go back into that lightest shade and I'm gonna blend that up one more time. Just up here, tap that off and I'm gonna go back up here just to bring that light back up into it. Just to blend everything. Okay, now I'm going to take a clean brush. Ooh, I do not want that one. It's too harsh. Some of them are a little bit stiffer than the others. I want this really fluffy one. And I'm just going to do some circular, circular motions. Seriously. I don't think I can ever talk when I get on camera. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I just can't talk in general. It's all right. Whatever. Don't forget to subscribe. Press the little notification buttons there so you don't miss anything. Okay, that's it for the peach. Now I'm going to go in with another palette. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, this one is, I don't know. You're welcome. I don't know which one it is. Does it say on the inside? Yeah, I don't know which one. It does, why does it not say? It's gotta say. Armed and gorgeous. This is like fall heaven. So I'm gonna take this dark brown and I'm just gonna put that along my lash line um, just to kind of give just a little bit more definition and it's got a mirror, so look, I just <laughs> do it right there. Actually, I think I'm gonna take Smooth Criminal and Prowl, those are the two brown shades, and I'm gonna mix those. I'm just gonna tap into both of those, and I'm gonna go along my lash line. Just with eyeshadow, you can totally do a wing liner. You can totally put um, eyeliner right here, too. I'm gonna take that all the way in. But I'm going to make it just a little bit thicker on the outer edge. It is so dark that I'm seriously my only light I have right now is this light over my camera. Okay. Same on the other eye. This this is more difficult because I'm left-handed, so I'm like, uh, you, sorry, you can't see. Too bad. You know what? You don't need to see this one. I'll just bear it back. Okay, so I've got that on both eyes now. I'm going to go back with this more stiff brush. So I was telling you I didn't want to use to like blend everything in. And I'm just going to run this underneath the lash line. I'm just going to mix these two lightest um, peachy shades and go underneath my lash line right here. And I'm going to connect it to that upper lid so they marry together as I take an eyelash and poke it directly into my eye. Beauty is pain. For real. As I poke myself in the eye. friends um this is an option if you would like to give yourself a little bit more of your eyes open you can use a nude eyeliner i would suggest just put it in your um bottom waterline sorry i keep having like really dry throat all of a sudden i'm like <laughs> but i'm trying to cough um this one is by makeup geek and there's a less expensive option this is the nyx wonder pencil in light 
So you can use either one of these and pop it into your waterline. The Makeup Geek is the bottom one of those two. You can't tell a difference. They wear the same, so I just really like Makeup Geek. I like a lot of their eyeshadows. Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes because I have to. Today I ran errands for most of the morning with the twins. And all I did was brush my teeth and curl my lashes. And I did put, sorry, I did put a tiny bit of concealer into my eyes because I have got the worst under eye bags. I have been researching about getting that filler underneath them. They put like a catheter, like like a needle that's got a catheter and it goes up and just fills them. It doesn't take away the color. It just kind of plumps them. And I, I want it done, but I'm scared. <laughs> So, it is what it is. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to take just a light pink shade out of the same palette that I was just using, just for my blush. Just dab it on the... Just make this face. Okay. And then blend it on up. John Lennon singing. Imagine. Just don't want to use peach again, because that would really wash you out. So, don't do peach blush... Actually, you can do whatever you want because there's no rules. But to, I don't like matchy matchy. I don't want pink lips with a pink, with pink eyeshadow or a pink shirt with my pink lids. Like I don't. I just like to. Yeah, if I'm doing a bright something, I'm gonna neutral it down with my outfit. Or if my eyes are wild and got some bright color stuff, I'm gonna probably do a neutral lip. I'm not saying that's the way it always happens, but most of the time. Okay, I'm going to take um, Fuego by Dose of Colors um, as a highlighter. And I'm gonna pop that more on like to my cheeks today instead of so much on my jawbone. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm just gonna drag it up. See this when you smile, there's that nice sheen of healthy radiance. Did you buy that? I don't know if you did, but I don't want the tip of my nose. And I'm going to do above the Cupid's bow, even though it's not my favorite thing to do because there's not a lot of YouTubers out there that are 42 years old showing you how to put on makeup. There's a lot of young girls that their skin looks basically perfect. So I'm going to put this right here. Maybe a little on the forehead. Just to make us look a little bit more glowy. Okay, kids, we're almost done. We're going to do, I ran out of Morphe setting spray. Did you notice last, the last video I did, I actually had some, but, um, I forgot to spray it. I sprayed it after and I was like, well, I'm not going to go back and record that. So, but it's, it's gone. So I don't have any. I'm taking this lip pencil from NYX and just lining. I'm going to do a very nude lip. So I have two here. I don't know if you guys can still get this one. This one's called Kate08. Um, it is by, I think it's Rimmel. Yes, it's Rimmel. I love this color. Look at look how much I have left. Do you think I've used it? It's really one I can put in my purse and just wear, and it's so um, nurturing. It just feels almost like, a, almost like a chapstick, but it has just a little bit of color to it. And then I also have this ColourPop lippy stick, and this one is in Lumiere. And it's just a little bit more purpley pinky. So I think I'm actually going to use this one by Rimmel. And then I'm going to add a gloss because it's me. Yeah, I don't even need a mirror for this because it's so just chapstick. It does have a different scent, like, like clay. It does. So I'm going to take that and then, you know, these are the two glosses I've been using. This one is um, the Victoria Duke and this one is in Hottie and this is the one that you get to pick, I think, the scent. Yeah. And then this is ColourPop. Um, it's the Shayla ColourPop and this one is in Neat Freak. So Neat Freak is... on the bottom. The only thing I don't like about that ColourPop one is I don't really love those wands. Okay, these are pretty similar. 
Okay. The bottom one, way more glossy. So I actually think I'm going to use the ColourPop one. It just looks wet. So if you just want to go for that wet lip, that's it. Okay, um, a tip. If you like the Kardashians, and I'm not saying I'm a Kardashians fan, I've seen their show many times, um, is to make, do you see where I put that lip gloss? I actually put it on the Cupid's bow. Instead of just putting it up to my lip and putting it here, I actually put it on my Cupid's bow. It just makes it look a little more plump and a little bit more glossy. There's your main tip for the day. Just take that gloss and put it right up there. Okay, guys, um, I have not done mascara. No wonder why it's taking forever. I'm going to use this L'Oreal Two-Step, which it reminds me of that one that had like the fibers in it, which I use. So you put on a coat and then you take this one. Well, I got to put that back on or I'll have it everywhere. I was going to try to do it quicker, but then I'll have it everywhere. And then you have like the primer. Maybe you're supposed to do that one by itself, but I don't. This is the way I do it. So you, you can see how it's just going to make it just uh, longer and fuller. And I'm just putting that on my outer edge. Pretty impressive, huh? Okay, I'm going to do this the other side. Yep, I gotta put the cap back on. I always put the cap back on, but I just don't screw it all the way on. I actually think you're supposed to do this by itself, but for some reason this works best for me, just to put some a little bit on and go back and forth, almost like a three-step process instead of two. Uh, but it really does make your lashes beautiful. Yeah, look at that. That's some length. Okay, I'm gonna add bottom lashes and then I'll be right back. Okay, friends, that's the finished look. Just a little peachy eye with a nude lip um, highlight just to make your skin look fresh and glowy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. I love you guys very much. I hope you have a blessed day. See you later. Bye-bye. How do I turn it off? How do I turn it off? Do we need a whole bunch of bloopers in here? <laughs> love you guys. See ya. Bye.